I know I made already a few videos how to change the impeller on Mer Cruiser, but every time I get a new boat, they manage to surprise me. This time, with this little gizmo, which I tried to use it, but I went to the uh, my conventional method, just unscrewing the plugs and draining everything. This is... I don't know who came up with this. It's a good idea. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's a good idea, but you know what? It does not work. More yet. More so. You have these little gizmos, like down here. It's for draining the water. And also, you're going to have another gizmo right here. Now this is in a way of everything. I could not, even after loosening the fuel filter, fuel filter, water separator, I could not take it off because this gizmo was in a way right there. So I had to resort to Taking it apart everything on the engine. So what I did was I unscrew the bracket from the back. Now this one was the hardest one because there was almost no way to uh, to get in the back to loosen it up. It took me over an hour to unscrew this bolt and this bolt which are behind so they're from the behind right here from the back and this one is from the back this one wasn't so bad but this one was the worst it took an hour to take these bolts off and I finally took the bracket off and then once the bracket was off my pump was loose and then I just unscrewed these guys and took the the pump out. Today's subject is going to be about a water pickup, a raw water pickup. As you can see this is the pump that's installed on the engine this way right here, like this. And it also has a bracket on it, like this. There's a culvert on the back, which I don't have with me right now, but there's a culvert here with two hoses. And it's fixed permanently on a side bottom of the engine. To those who worked on this, you know you don't have an access from this side. And you also don't have an access from this side because somebody decided to put a fuel filter water separator on this side. And we all know that the assembly for this water pump is screwed in from the back just like this so knowing that this is up front the easiest way to take it apart is if we can get to that bolt from this end but we can't to take it apart from this bracket once I took this bracket off like this, this was still on, a, on the engine, this pump with the hoses just dropped down and I was able to get to the back screws and that's I think how it should be we should be able to screw it from this end so the screw goes through here and screws in the back so what I'm gonna do is and all I need is these two guys. When you see these white <clears throat> marks, that's where the bracket goes. This is where the bracket goes, right there. So all I need is this screw and this screw go through and screw into here. But I can't do that because the hole is too big. 
So the fix for this is these little guys. They're called locking inserts. You drill, you tap, and then you screw in these guy. And those tabs on the end, once it's screwed in, you tap them in to lock it so it doesn't turn on you. And then you can screw the screw from this end. And of course on this portion we're gonna drill this portion right here we're gonna drill this guy out and this guy out so we can put the screw through here just like we can put it through here we open this hole to this side so we can push it through I'm just gonna unscrew this I'm going to unscrew this and I'm going to unscrew this guy and then pump is going to come apart and now I have an access to the back plate and I can unscrew the back plate very easy and everything is attached to the boat only this thing comes out and now I can replace the impeller This one is done, now let's go do this one. So first I'm using the drill to align the hole. Same size drill as the hole to make sure I'm going to drill and tap in the same spot. And here's a shot before, this is before, and this is after. I know this hole here is not in the center, but that's how it works out. If you look in the previous hole, it's also not in the center. So I'm just following the old holes because the old holes did work. So I have something interesting to show you. I heard about it, never seen one. Uh, I noticed that the bottom was very shiny. And first I thought that it was because the impeller made it shiny but then by accident voila this came out so I heard about those plates before and these are the ones that you put in when the bottom gets scored so these ones already came with it and they just drop to the bottom like that and their shape of this cavity here so when the impellers is inside they ride on top of it and if it gets scored this plate is going to get scored which you can take it out and replace it so I was thinking about getting those anyway but I don't have to they're already here so this is one of the fixes you can do on a, on a water pump when when your engine is overheating and it's not taking the water you put in this little plate which stops the water from leaking and uh, let me show you how the plate looks from the bottom 
So on the bottom, on the bottom, there's a, a, a it's it's like a rubber coating, I guess. It's very thin, and that's from when when you press the impeller, so the the, the air does not get behind it, and it adheres itself to the bottom of of, of this pump. So just drop it in like so and the impeller will push it down when you put the cover on top of it so we cleaned it we're gonna clean the grooves and uh, we're gonna reinstall the the o-rings now uh, usually the o-rings come in not pre-shaped this one did come pre-shaped and if you look at it you got a bigger diameter and smaller diameter and if you look here you have a bigger diameter and smaller diameter so when you put it on see how they fit if you put it the other way and let me see if I can take it out if you put it the other way uh, I'm sure you can work it in but see what happens there so you're too small here, too big on this side. So this is the only way it's going to go, go in and it, it matches perfectly. So that's just a side note. If you're going to get O-rings that look like a Mickey Mouse already, and that's how they go. Measure twice, cut once. Almost there. Okay. And there we go. There's one, there's two, there's one, and there's two. So there's two things I need to do before I install these these guys here uh, they going in easy fairly easy like this and uh, they're gonna be kept in place by these guys these little tabs but what I like to do first is I'm gonna clean the, the holes because when I tapped it I'm gonna clean these holes because when I tap these holes I use fluid oil and I don't want any oil in there because I'm going to use a Loctite it's a blue Loctite and uh, I always use a blue one because it's easy to break but in this case I don't need it for locking it because like I said these tabs will lock it in this case I'm going to use it for preventing it from rusting and the way I'm going to prevent it from rusting is when I put this Loctite in, the Loctite is going to go fill in all the treads so the air and moisture cannot get to it. And if the air and moisture cannot get to it, it's not going to rust. It's just going to encapsulate it just like a paint. And this Loctite is going to just fill all the gaps. There's no pressure in here, but there's definitely some fluid in there. So I'm going to show you a trick. I don't know if you can see this. So there's clearly something inside, but it's not coming out because the gas is out. So what you do in this case, of course you need your pump and if you have old um, tire pumping thing I forgot what it's called you put it on top of it you squeeze it like so and you're gonna just put some air inside okay I'm sure you heard it Wow, look at that, it works now. 
So if you got still some left over but you don't have a gas, you can pump your own gas. You just need this little guy. Okay, now we can go and clean it. Wow. Wow. And now we have air, see? It wasn't much. But it's okay. We cleaned the uh, the tread locks. Okay. And now wow. This thing is brutal. Look, I just put it down and it just ate through it. Wow. It's brutal. And it's flush. And it's all she wrote. And that's how it looks. And that's how this looks. Now I can paint it from this side, but you can see that the Loctite is already taking its place in there. And I could throw a paint, and I probably will put a paint here. I have plenty of paint, I got a paint right here. Plastic dip. And it's gonna be right here. So it used to be a hole like this one almost. This one is the slotted. And now it's threaded. So that's, let's repeat the cycle. Let's use the tool. How is that? Bam. Let's put more lactate on it. And there it is, below this surface, below this surface, and let's give it a whack. Waka waka. And you can see that they're sticking out a little bit. So I'm gonna walk them down. Walk them all! And we are done. So this was pretty easy. I'm going to include, I'm going to, I have a picture of the website, the tool, and these inserts, so you can have it if you need to do this. And tomorrow, I'm going to install these on a boat. It used to be a through hole, now it's threaded hole.
and a good use for these hoses. You can hold it up. Oops. You can hold it up as you're putting the screw in. That's what this is good for. So that's it. That's what this is good for. And guess what guys? <laughs> yeah, I put the pump the wrong way. Now I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> no quitting time now. Have to finish it today. And it's done. Easy peasy.